Hey there, everybody. So one thing I like to encourage um, women to do as they're doing their Bible study is to mark the scriptures. I mean, I'll link a blog post in the description below about how you can do that. But I know that not everybody wants to go and mark in their Bible to totally understand. So um, an alternative to marking in your Bible is you can go and print out an observation worksheet. So I thought I would show you how to do that real quick. It's really easy if you use Bible Gateway. So let me share my screen here with you. Okay, so let's just come up here. And go to Bible Gateway. Okay, and let's just do John chapter one. I recommend printing out like each chapter, like if you wanna study um, like the book of Philippians, I recommend going and printing out Philippians chapter one and then doing chapter two and chapter three. So you have, um, just they're separated that way. So print them out by chapter. So if you go to um, John chapter one, I like the NASB. So now here, um, before you go to the print version of it, uh, make sure that you have your settings right. If you want your headings on there, you can. I recommend just doing verse numbers. So once you have that, go over here to print. And then if you hit control P on your keyboard, it'll bring up your print window. And then each printer is a little different, but you should have something on here that says more settings. So if you click on that, go to margins and go to custom. Um, then these little lines on the page should pop up for you. I like having room in my margin to write my list and make notes. So I always kind of just bring this in a little bit. That may be a little too much. Um, let's see, let's go down to the bottom. So I'm gonna bring it in a little bit just to see if I can get this last paragraph here up on this other page. And I'll show you why. Okay, so if we bring this back out a little bit more. Okay, now let's see. Tiny bit more. Let's see what that does. Yeah, now I don't need to print this last page. So when I go up to print, my pages, I can just do pages one through three because I don't need the last page and it took it out of there here. Um, you have all, if you print out that fourth page, then you're gonna have that and you don't need to print that. So, um, and then you have just the scripture printed on a sheet of paper. You've got lots of room to um, mark and highlight and write lists if you want to do that. So that is another option for those of you who um, do not want to mark up your Bible.